Bucks hosting the Sixers, and the Bucks are five and a half point favorites. The over under is at two twenty eight and a half. The Sixers are plus one eighty five on the money line. The Bucks are minus two twenty five. The Sixers lost the last game that they played. The Bucks have won their last sixteen games. Now, before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are playing in this game. Use a site like VegasInsider.com and allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings in one place. And then if you're looking for some advanced head-to-head or gambling stats, go to Covers.com and it'll give you a lot of very good and very important information. Head-to-head, the Bucks are 8-2 against the Sixers in their last 10. The home team is 5-5 five five in their last 10. The underdog has covered the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 against the spread. The favorite is 7-3 on the money line. The under has hit in their last two games. The under is 6-4 in their last 10, and the under 228.5 specifically is 8-2 in their last 10. Now, the last game they played against each other, the Sixers won 110-102 in Philadelphia. The game before that, the Bucks won 90-88 in Philadelphia. The game before that, the Bucks won 118-116 in Philadelphia. The game before that, the Sixers won 123-120 in Milwaukee. So the last... Uh, Three out of the last four games that they've played against each other have been decided by three points or less. One game was decided by eight, and that was the game that the Sixers won. I honestly believe that the Bucks are due for a loss because 16 in a row, eventually, these teams just end up losing. Now, the Sixers are 6-4 six and four in their last 10 games overall, and they are 6-4 and four against the spread. The under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. We've had... 259 points, we've had 215 points, 200 points exactly, and 217. They've played the Heat twice in their last four games, so that has something to do with the over-under because the Heat generally run under when they play in these games. Like I said, the Bucks have won their last 16. They are 8-2 and two against the spread in their last 10, and the under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. We've had 256 points, 222 points, 205 points, and 227 points. The game that they scored the most points was against the Magic, so food for thought there. To me, I really think this is a trap game, and I really think that this is one of those games that the Bucks could lose because they're on such a large winning streak, but they are 27-5 and five at home, while the Sixers are 16-12 and 12 on the road. I'm going to give the Bucks the edge because they're home, so I'll take Milwaukee with the money line. I will take the Sixers getting as many points as I possibly can in this game, and I'm going to go under, and if I was really going to bet this game, I would probably take the Sixers in the points because, like I said, the last handful of games that they've played have been three points or fewer, or at least three out of the four. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.